Hey everybody. So a lot of you wonder how we get by, um, particularly how we afford to live on the road. And some of you that are following us probably realize that we do everything on a budget. And we've told you before, we don't pay for lodging. Um, so we wanted to bring you today some ideas on where you can stay. If any of you are thinking of living on the road, we hope we inspired you to do that. Um, or if you're just doing some long-term traveling and you're going to be car camping, here's some ideas of where you can do that for free. Primarily, we stay on public land. So we're camping on national forest lands, BLM lands, and that's free, of course, uh, the dispersed camping uh, options. Not the paid national forest camping, we don't do that. Um, but you can often find free camping on national forest lands. And if you've got four by four option, then you can definitely get back in there and camp for free. And we found a lot of amazing spots to camp uh, with good views for no cost at all. So that's our go-to. But of course, if you're traveling and just like us living on the road full time, we have to sometimes find somewhere free to stay in the city. That's the harder part. Uh, here's some ideas of where you can go. So just be thinking anything 24 hours, you can typically stay in their parking lot for free. And if you're in a vehicle that's inconspicuous, like we're in the Great Escape, it's, it tucks in and you can't really you know, tell that anyone's sleeping in there. So we can get away with that. If you're in something larger, an RV or something that stands out, that's a little harder. You'll have to figure that one out. But yeah, if you're in something inconspicuous, you can get by in just about any 24 hour parking lot. So places to think about, hospitals, they have 24-hour lots. We've done that. It's been fine. Casinos. We've stayed in casino parking lots, too, with no problem. But the big go-to, you might have heard this before, is Walmart. There's typically a Walmart in just about every town. And um, if you find the 24-hour Walmart, so you can tuck in a spot and uh, sleep there overnight without problem. Um, what else? So you could... We have heard some people... Um, also stay in gym, stay at gyms because they have a gym membership. If you already have that, that's an option to so stay at a gym. Uh, if you're paying that membership fee, we are a little cheaper than that and we don't pay a, a gym membership fee. We do enough hiking and uh, stuff outdoors that we don't really need a gym membership. And aside from that, the shower, you could get a shower out of it too. But again, the cost to us just isn't really worth it. Um, we'd rather bathe in a cold river, just deal with it and save the money. So uh, another idea for 24 hour lots or lots you can stay in for free. Um, we've done Lowe's and Home Depot's and that also has worked out without problem for us. Uh, a benefit to things like Walmart, the Home Depot and Lowe's is that you can sometimes get Wi-Fi from their parking lot as well. So mm, typically you have to be close to the building and we don't park close to the building, but we have gotten it a few times. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, so those are some ideas on where you can stay for free and um, happy car camping. Hey guys, if you found those tips useful, uh, make sure to like the video. And if you want to get more tips about living on the road or car camping, then simply subscribe to the channel. Thanks.